Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, this is the December BAM box. So at the moment when I'm recording this, I got this BAM box and I'm sorry, I don't know at this particular moment if this is the horror box or if it's a pop culture box. Usually I can figure that out based off the uh, tracking number because it'll have information in there saying it's pop culture or horror. But for some reason, and uh, Adam MacArthur, the CEO of BAM box uh, had put something about this on social media. For some reason, and they don't know why, we weren't getting any updates on tracking numbers, so no tracking numbers went out to anyone, so you know, boxes were kind of just showing up whenever, so I'm not sure if this is horror or pop culture, but the title of this will be the correct one. So I won't know going into this until I pull out the first item, I'm sure. So figure this out as I go. Um, they're still on the... Um, for the second month right now, so the, the plain boxes, because they're working on their new design for boxes, uh, which they had a little blurb about in the last box explaining that. This has like three points that I need to cut. Um, so I'll be excited when they go back to their normal type boxes with a obviously new design. That'll be cool. Um, if I hope this is the horror one, because then if it's the horror one, then I can say a little bit about it. For either of them, I'm not remembering a whole lot about the franchises. For the horror one, I'm remembering like one, um, and the pop culture one. Yeah, actually, it's the same. All right, tissue paper. One tissue paper for my cat. Two tissue paper for my cat. Three. I always like it when I get three because. Cats, they be loving tissue paper. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to pull out is a prop replica. Oh, and a button. Okay, I'm going to do this button. Not a pin, a button. Although I'm sure there's a pin in here as well. Mm -mm -mm, I don't know. Oswald means order? What is that from? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I don't. I have no idea what this Oswald means order comes from. So depending on what it's correlating with, I may not care for this. I don't really care for buttons in general. There is kind of a way you can display them. Um, you can pin them on stuff, but people aren't really big into buttons right now. Pins are the hot thing. That's what I'm all about is the pins in addition to the art prints, but buttons I'm not huge on, so. But I'm never looking for, you know, those types of items in this. I'm just kind of whatever. So here's a prop replica. It's relatively large, kind of heavy-ish. Oh, okay. This is the pop culture box. I, I am now understanding it's the pop culture box. This is cool, actually. I like this. This is a nice display piece. Um, and it'll go with uh, a prop replica that we already got, which is another prop replica I actually like, because, you know, I don't like a lot of them. But this is from the Goonies. This is the key... People can see that. I don't fit it all on there, but this is the key that they use when they're looking for One-Eyed Willie's gold and jewels and all that jazz. This is the part where they're like in the cave and um, they have like these little like stones sticking out, so they have like match it up with the eye holes in the nose hole and then like turn it, uh, and then they go down like those water slides. It's pretty sweet. Um, it looks pretty good. It's it's not like solid metal, but it feels metal-ish. So, it's not as weighty as you would think being metal-ish, but, I mean, it looks good. I think it goes along with, let me grab this. I put it in one of their, like, there was something stupid in this before, but this is the doubloon from um, the Goonies. And I put it in that, you can see the other side of it, for, for display. So, this is better than, than that thing, but putting those two things together like side by side, which is exactly what I'll do. It's going to be good. That's nice. And I like, okay, so I like the fact that, well, some people may, may not appreciate that they kind of like repeated a franchise and repeated it for the prop replica. I enjoy it just because the they go together. So I can put this with the other thing, and that's cool to me. I like it. Excuse me. I like bourbon. Um, I'm going to go for the pin is done by Cottonhead, oh, no, I'm sorry, that's, damn it, that kind of like ruined it for me, it's by Brian Romero, which I believe, I remember that he's done it before, um, and this is Cottonhead and Ninny Muggins, so some people will be able to figure out what that is from, yep, there's your dude, from Elf, 
It is Buddy the Elf from Elf. Looks good. Does kind of look like Will Ferrell. That's good. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. I wonder what the other ones would be for that, like the variant pins. We'll find out. All right, so next is probably the art print. Duh, duh, duh. This is done by Oscar Van. It's one of their fan art collection ones. And, oh, dude, this is cool, man. Okay, so perfect timing for this. For people who know or don't know, there's a debate out there about whether Die Hard is a Christmas movie, and a lot of people will tell you yes, including me. I will say it is a Christmas movie. It is set on Christmas. So Die Hard, one of the quintessential Christmas movies, and here's an art print for Die Hard. John McClane, Hans Gruber, friggin' Die Hard. And the cool thing about this is it looks 80s in style, so it's kind of just like really sticks with the film. I know with a lot of like the prints, they'll do kind of, if it's an older film, it'll kind of look more modern, which is cool too, but I really like the retro type stuff, and I dig this because of that. That's nice. I got number 252 out of 2000. Thank you again to Oscar Van. It's good artwork, man. And Die Hard. I like that. I like that we got Die Hard. Now we're going for the autograph. Okay. Signed by Donald Full of Love, who played Goldie Wilson in Back to the Future 1 and 2. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Yep, yep, yep. I like that. Re-elect Mayor Goldie Wilson. Honesty, decency, integrity. That's cool. Yeah. It looks good. And, and the, the nice thing about this is it's not just like a headshot from like a scene in the film. It's like a piece. I mean, it's kind of basically a prop from the film that's signed in a sense. Even though it's like, you know, a print. But I dig it. I'm not like the biggest Back to the Future fan, but I know there are a lot of people out there who are like huge into Back to the Future. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I quite like it. It's just like I don't keep co coming back to it like a lot of people do. So, I mean, this is cool to have. I probably won't display it just because, you know, I'm not like a huge fan of it, but this is cool for them to put in there. So, let's see what these variants were and what not. So, um, yep, so they have the thing about the Goldie Wilson signing, Donald Full Love, and there were a few things that could have been signed, including a actual, like, spatula, which is fun, and a hat, a, uh, like a fry cook hat, and then a potential, like, hoverboard could have been signed by him. So that's pretty sweet. That's cool. Um, they just have the thing about the, um, the prop from the Goonies, which I don't need to show you that because it's the same for everyone. It has the same look. Uh, the, oh, okay, the Oswald means order, now it makes sense to me, is from Batman Returns. I'm sure when I flashed it up there, there were plenty of people watching this who were like, it's freaking Batman Forever, it's Batman Forever, which I like Batman Forever. It is a good film. It's very, very dark, and um, I like Tim Burton because I like his aesthetic. I like things that are dark. I'm into horror films, so naturally it's a film that I really dig. And that is also a Christmas film, people, because it takes place, at least partially, during Christmas. A lot of people forget that. But um, there were a few options for the buttons. I think my favorite, obviously, is the cobble pot one. I mean, that looks good. Yeah. But like I said, like I'm not huge into buttons, to be honest. Okay, so the variants, <clears throat> excuse me, a little tickle. The variants on the pins from Elf, you have the Buddy the Elf one, which is what I got. Then you have, um, I forget what her name is in the film. And then the guy, the Elf who ended up adopting Buddy as his own. So he's out of 99. So um, honestly, I'm fine without getting either of the limited ones because... The Buddy the Elf one's the most recognizable. And the other ones, like, aren't that cool. Not that the design's not good, because the design's totally good. It's just, for that franchise, what else are you going to do? You know what I mean? So, I would want the one that was most common, because it's the most recognizable as being Elf. So, I like that. Uh, and then, the Die Hard, the variant. 
I can't even really tell what the variant... Oh, it's just kind of like a, a color color scheme, kind of like shading difference. It might even be hard to tell. So this is one of the things that does kind of bother me is like when these variants are done and they're not like really variants. Uh, it's kind of like with like pop figures when they'll do it and it's like, here's a pop figure. Here's the exact same sculpt and look at the pop figure, but we splattered blood on it. You know, it's kind of like, you're not really doing that much. Um, but, you know, in this instance, like don't have a variant, just like give everyone one you know it's fine it's fine you can do that it's all good because it looks really good like i said i really dig that artwork it's cool artwork and it's friggin die hard so who's not gonna like it and then they had a giveaway for a yoda and r2d2 dagobah artfx statue that's pretty cool yeah for all you star wars fans out there nice okay so overall, um, I think this is cool. It's not, you know, I'm not going to display it, but it's a good, it's a good autograph in my opinion for pop culture. The Die Hard, obviously, really like that. The pin is cool as usual. The pin usually looks good, so I'm down with that. And then the prop is cool because it goes with the prop we already got, and it looks pretty sweet. So overall, good job. This is a good December box. Happy with this one, and thank you everyone for checking this out. Uh, please hit the subscribe if you want to know whenever I'm putting up videos hit the uh, notification bell. I'd appreciate that um, Likes comments. Let's talk about nerdy stuff, but please 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 do uh, subscribe uh, It means a lot to me, uh, but until next time keep it brutal